The Supreme Court of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea has convicted a 24-year-old American man of entering the country illegally to commit espionage. He was sentenced to six years of hard labor. The court said Matthew Miller of Bakersfield, California, tore up his tourist visa at Pyongyang's airport upon arrival on April 10th. He admitted to having the, quote, wild ambition of experiencing prison life so that he could secretly investigate the DPRK's human rights situation. Earlier, Miller was believed to have been seeking asylum when he entered the DPRK. The prosecution argued that was a ruse and that Miller falsely claimed to have secret information about the U.S. military in South Korea. Earlier, we spoke to Associated Press senior video journalist Raphael Wilbur in Pyongyang about Matthew Miller's sentence. Or Matthew Miller handcuffed and led out of the courtroom. His sentence was a surprise. Um, before that, there had only been very brief reports from the state news agency here. He spoke to us about a month, over a month ago, in early August, and he spoke to other media a month later. He, he didn't want to talk about what motivated his trip here to Pyongyang, so there was never any indication that the idea of espionage could be behind it, but that's what the court decided yesterday. And the other thing that is important to remember about this sentencing, where they say that there's no room for appeal, is that in other cases of Americans stuck here, they have not, even though they've received sentences, they have not immediately gone into the prison system and started hard labor. Back in 2009, two American reporters also sentenced here were not actually in a hard labor camp or prison. Before that time, there was intervention from Bill Clinton to come and retrieve them, get them out of here. So it's not yet clear whether Matthew Miller is actually going off anywhere to actually start hard labor yet.